tale this year is not in rhyme. That's too much like a pantomime. Instead, we'll really try to keep the original words as we peep through the stable door and behold what all the visitors saw. Hold on, sit tight, and you will see the story of Nativity. A long time ago, in a land a long way away from Farley, there lived a carpenter called Joseph, and he was married to Mary. Mary was going to have a baby, and the time was getting close. But the emperor, a man a bit like Boris Johnson, sent out a message that everyone had to travel to the place they were born and register their names. So, very reluctantly, Joseph and Mary put on their face masks and, and sanitizer and set off for Bethlehem to register for the emperor. They had a donkey and Mary rode him sometimes and sometimes she walked alongside to give him a rest. You'd have thought it would be easier by car, but the story calls for a donkey. travelled through fields and forests and took a very long time but eventually they came to Bethlehem and tried to find somewhere to stay but due to the virus that was very difficult indeed. washed their hands and set off in search of a yurt for them to stay in. Soon they found a nice, warm, cosy and inviting yurt and Mary had her baby and laid him in the manger. It was a very cold night and soon all the farm animals noticed that the fire was burning in the yurt and they all came in from the cold and were amazed to see the baby. Mary and Joseph. Out in the fields at the time, there were shepherds, just six of them, living in their little bubble, looking after their sheep. <laughs> it was a cold night out in the fields, but they were glad to be out of the city where the virus was making people ill. They were just falling asleep when they were woken up by a very bright light in the sky. See the sleeping shepherds sleep until dawn. Let us go and wake them, Jesus is born. Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up, shepherds, stop, stop, stop. Jump, little shepherds, stop, stop. Oh, look at that, what 
beautiful news. Baby's been born in Bethlehem. Who will one day be a king. Go to town and see the baby. And don't forget your face masks. So the shepherds all jumped up and went into the town to see the baby in the yurt. In a land in the east, even further away from Farley, lived some very wise people who studied the stars in the night sky. That very night, a new star, brighter than any they'd seen, appeared in the sky, and they didn't know what it meant. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The oldest and wisest of them knew. It's a sign, he said. We must follow it and see where it leads. A baby has been born that will rule the earth. We should take gifts. Come, let's all get our coats on. Talk to Sarah Starleys. We must take gifts. What shall we take? God has some gifts to be good. Yes, and bear as well. It might help with the fibers. Let's go! And so the wise people came from the east and they went in to the yurt and saw the baby with Mary and Joseph and they gave gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh, which they hoped would help with the virus. This is a message for our time, that even when the outlook's bleak, the story we've told can really speak to all of us, whether big or small, that hope is out there for us all. Gold, frankincense and myrrh, could it really be the cure? Who knows? Not me. But this, I say, have a joyous Christmas day. And raise a glass to our good health from all at Farley and myself. Merry Christmas and a healthy, happy, Covid free New Year. We wish you.